How are you? Um, my name Tanks. Yeah, today we learn about tense. So, what does tense mean? Think of it. Good. Do you have thought well? Tense refers to time, an action. Tense refers to time of an action. There are three types of tenses. It we call present, past, and the future. Let me repeat. The present, past, and the future. As you hear now, these are the three main kinds of tenses. Each of these tenses has four types. Each of these tenses has four types. That means the present tense has four types, the past tense has four types, again the future tense has four types. These four types are, for example, when you take the present tense, the present simple tense, the present continuous tense, the present perfect, and the present perfect continuous tense. Also, the past tense has also four types with the same type, but we say past simple or past infinite tense, past continuous, past perfect, and past perfect continuous tense are types of past tense. Also the same with the future. Okay, today we will focus on one kind of tense from the present tense. Let me give you examples and decide the sentences whether they are present simple, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous tense. Very good. Let me give you example number one. I go to school every day. I go to school every day. She usually goes to church on foot. She usually goes to church on foot. He always likes to eat rice or he always eats rice. He always eats rice. The sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east. They run around the study. They run around the study. Okay. I'll give you about five examples. Okay. When you see the uses of these sentences. Sentence number one, two, three, and sentence number five about repeated action. Sentence number one, two, three, and number five are about repeated action or action that we do repeatedly. And sentence number four is about there are truths or fact. So, under the structure of these sentences, subject plus verb one plus object. For the sentences which I say repeated action, there is word which shows that as it is repeated action, which we call adverbs of frequency. So, what is like every day, usually, always are adverbs of frequency, they show frequency, so that we say the tense which we use to talk about repeated action and facts or general truth is the present simple tense. Very good. In the first sentence I said I go to school every day, I go to school every day. In this I is subject, go is verb one, and school is what we say object. So this sentence structure is subject plus verb one plus object, so that it is the present simple tense. And the word every day is adverb of frequency, which shows the frequency of an action. In the second sentence, as I said, 
she usually goes to church on she usually goes to church on so what do you usually show that frequency here i used the word usually between subject and verb because of what is like always often sometimes are other pieces of frequency which are used between this uh, place or between subjects and verb and then the word is like every day every week and the word is like are uh, used as adverb frequency and the form from keywords are used at the end of the sentence so from this lesson you have understood about the use of the present simple tense and the the structure of the present simple tense good in the second sentence as i said she usually goes to church on foot the verb i used is goes g o e s g o e s that means i added e s to the word go because of the subject that i used is she when the subject of our sentence is third person singular our main verb may add s e s or i e s adding s e s and i e s depends on the verb given they also the subject of the sentence the subject of the sentence must be third person singular so what we say third person singulars are he she it also singular nouns used as subject yeah this all are all are about our today's lesson don't forget to subscribe mr johannes at the youtube channel to get new updates my videos thank you for watching goodbye